on, people? Your boy, Big Baby K, back here again. Got my homeboy, Freddie Lack, with me. And we're going to talk about this 2019 Ford Fusion. That's what it is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Fusion Hybrid. You know, you know when the S550 first came out, all everybody said is how much it looked just like a Fusion. You know, now we got them side by side. Even though mine is 17 is a 19, they do kind of, hmm, they do kind of resemble each other in the front. You know, they both are Indigo Silver. Uh, only difference is mine is a base model EcoBoost, and this one is the ACL. It's gonna be fully loaded. You know, we're gonna let Freddie open it up. We're gonna see what the inside look like. And I'm gonna tell you something. This thing is nice. You know, he rented this one. He was gonna rent an Impala. I'm glad they didn't give it to him. So he thinking about buying one of these now. We're gonna bring him to the Ford side, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all don't give him no hate. He, he he drives a Dodge right now, so but we're gonna get him over to the Ford side. So we're gonna open it up and see what the inside look like. And I'm gonna tell you, it, it, it's nice. We ain't gonna show you, you know, your white legs first. <laughs> As you can see, this is very, very nice. Go ahead. So you can pick what you want on each screen. You got a left screen and a right screen. So your choices on the right screen are entertainment, which is gonna be whatever devices you may or may not have plugged in. Okay. Um, so that's the first option. Next option is gonna be your phone. That's gonna show your incoming calls, outgoing calls. You can voice to text, all that stuff, voice to call. Okay. Uh, next is going to be your navigation. I like this feature. Um, there's no uh, route set in right now, but if you have a route set in, it'll show your turn-by-turn -turn directions and your mileage and your trip and how much is left right there so you don't have to look over to the main screen. Oh, cool. um, mm -hmm. It's kind of a safety thing, but it, I really like that. And then your last thing is going to be your fuel economy. You can see you can reset it for your trip. Mm, okay. You see my average is 35.4. Um, not too bad. So I, then, like, I like the other screen on the left, too. So then on your other screen... It's telling me your doors. This is kind of your information center. Um, so here I have it set to speedometer and give your digital exact readout. Um, some different stats on the um, electric engine versus the engine itself. I'm not too sure about all the specifics on that screen, but I know that's something about the electric engine. Okay. Um, that's another thing just on the electric engine itself, the EM power. Um, they give you a little rating system to how, tell you how good you are at excelling and braking and cruising as far as and how it relates to your MPGs. It gives you little bar scores and stuff like that. Okay. Um, your tire pressure, um, and then you got your trip one, trip two, and then you can go back out. And you can go your information, tutorial, my keys, and all that kind of standard Ford stuff. And you okay. got your, your vehicle settings. This is nice, and I love the screen for the navigation. Yeah. It's huge, man. You can pick what you want up here. You got your audio, your climate, phone, all, all that right. stuff. So, this is very nice. We're going to make sure Freddie gets this, y'all. <laughs> I love the seats, man. The heated seats. Love the gear shift on it with the parking brake. This is really my first time actually. Oh, I like this right here too at the bottom. Hope y'all can see that. You got the charging ports for your phone and stuff at the bottom. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, you no, know, he says adaptive crew control. Really good for long trips. Oh yeah, he just drove it to Virginia, so he know he. This is. You said the adaptive cruise control. And it, it's going to maintain that lane. If you come to a complete stop, it'll stop before you. If you're, they start crawling, it'll yeah. crawl. If you come wow. to a stop, it'll stop. If you start to go to the left or the right, it'll, uh, it'll give you a little warning. A little beep at you. Wow. And, um, we also had a situation where someone stopped extremely short of us and the uh, crash avoidance system activated and completely stopped for us. So it's uh, there's a lot of technology in this thing. I, I was overwhelmed how much technology <laughs> is in this thing. Um, I'm overwhelmed by the, by the size of it, man. Yeah. You know, it's actually on right now. It's the hybrid, hybrid electric. Yeah, yeah, it's so quiet. It's on right now. It's in the, the battery mode. Um, every once in a while, if you leave it in the battery mode too long, you'll hear the engine will cut on to charge it back up. Um, but it, that makes it 
it's extremely efficient. Um, I was averaging 35 miles to the gallon wow. um, on my trip. So um, there is an eco mode. The eco mode, um, I could tell the difference as far as the takeoffs from the red lights and stuff. I, I did notice the difference in the eco mode. Yeah. Cruising on the highway, I don't think there was a difference in the eco, eco mode, but you could definitely tell the get up difference when the eco mode is engaged. I hope the um, sign doesn't mess up this video right here, though. Hill descent control, there are some hills. You pop it in hill descent control, it helps you use some engine braking while you're going down the hills, okay. save up your brakes. I mean, this thing is just loaded with features. Now, for insurance purposes, we're not going to race to see who's faster. <laughs> but yeah, the size of this car is impressive, man. You know, when you think about a Fusion, you think of it as like a, a compact car, but this is more like a mid-size sedan. It's a full-size? Full wow, okay. Full it's a full-size. I'm corrected on that. Because you see it beside the Mustang, and it, <laughs> it dwarfs the Mustang. It is huge, you know. I wonder how much one of these going for, Freddie. Have from you looked them up? From, I look, from what I looked up, the hybrid version and the SEL uh, package um, range from 28 to 32, give or take your bells and whistles. But for the hybrid SEL, you can get a cheaper hybrid, the base, the, the base hybrid, one, yeah. Um, but from what I looked up, the SEL version in the hybrid um, was running 28 to 32. Well, no, them options, that's not bad. No, that's not bad. But as you can see, they, they do kind of resemble and if you if you i don't know if the the sunlight gonna you know mess it up but the headlights on the thing with the leds is nice they're very bright yeah that is i ain't about the front of this thing looks mean well, unfortunately it's the last year they're gonna be making them yeah so y'all better jump on it they discontinue them so you know hey the you bet they're gonna be having all type of rebates for them you better jump on them you know that's a good looking car, man. That's a very good looking car, you know. Like I said, this is a quick video. Talk about the 2019 uh, Ford Fusion. You know, do y'all think it looks like the Mustang? Or does the Mustang look like it? How y'all feel about it? As y'all can see, what we got behind us is the police they love pulling over Mustangs <laughs> let's see what we go have <laughs> Kendrick got a quick question for you what's up does your car really smell that bad you gotta have all them air fresheners <laughs> up there <laughs> well I'm gonna give you a pass on this one Mr. Kendrick but especially this time of day we need to go ahead and make sure we're stopping at stop signs and all okay right. I really appreciate it all brother. right sir you have a good day you too now. man that was cool we got all we don't want it. Thanks, Jesus. Hope y'all enjoyed that little entertaining video. You know, I did not get a ticket, as y'all can see. You know, we always good pulled over, but I always support law enforcement. They got one of the hardest jobs in the world. So I hope y'all enjoyed this upload. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.